Welcome to India. Where's the exit? Sorry. like Egypt. trying to sleep fancy 
petit café in a fancy district. Refreshing day, refreshing beer. It's 37 degrees. 37. God damn it. Working people going back home. I hope you will come to this bar later. So, I'm going to try the Maraja Mac Chicken. Interesting name. Okay, it's just like a like chicken burger, and it's about I forgot in dollars three, three point five. I mean less than four dollars here. That's nice. That's the electric version. Cool. The traditional one as we know it. And the electric, apparently. Or it's just a sticker. But we see a lot of electric scooters and electric cars. So it might be true. I just left this coffee place. It was very good. The coffee and they prepare the bun with uh, butter and jam when I saw the price I thought it would be a very small dessert like a tiny bun tiny bread oh, look at those houses and it turns out that it was a huge bun and I just ate this uh, Maharaja McDonald thing so I'm completely full no dinner tonight the, the colors of the trees so pretty. Can I fit the entrance? Oh my god, it's so small. Oh.
basketball. Because they come at night, it's really hot in the afternoon. I don't know if they have the lighting, the light system. Yes, for the basketball, yes. I almost broke my back and the normal door was here. Okay. Look at the size of this tree. It's massive. We are right in the city center. Yeah, some houses are incredible. There's such a diversity of architecture in those quiet streets. But basically all the houses are really beautiful. And it could be very creative in some parts. I saw very, very designed buildings. And, uh, yeah, it's quite a surprise. I wasn't expecting this about India. Apparently it's because we are in the south and it's very different. So yeah, big, big surprise. After two weeks around, every day I discover a new district and it's, it's really beautiful. I mean, those, those trees everywhere are amazing. They should do some districts completely pedestrian, but I guess it's not in a mentality yet. Soon, soon. Okay, I'm going to reach the biggest uh, avenue, which is going to be noisy and busy again. Okay, we're back to the metro line. So there are two metro lines here. There are, those are sky metros. It's less trouble to build, I guess. And it's very similar to Bangkok, uh, Singapore, Southeast Asian cities, basically. It's efficient, but doesn't go to a lot of places. And it's full of traffic. Sugar cane. We're in a fancy district. The residents here are unbelievable. So we try to look for an apartment here, but it's not an easy task. A, there are not so many available places, and B, it's quite expensive. It's uh, reaching the Euro European standards, depending on which city we are talking about. Such a nice car. Beautiful car. We see a lot of collection cars in the streets. I don't know if they are really driving them. I heard that there is a special day for cars and matters to drive around town. I'll try to find it. Sometimes it feels like it's, it's a house. It would be houses in America or Mexico. I would have never thought that I could see such things in India. We have quite about a, a bad idea about India. Me the first. I had a lot of preconceived ideas. Of course it's not pretty like this everywhere. But at least Bangalore has a lot of green spaces, a lot of green streets. And it's not that bad after all. Apparently the north is more chaotic, but here it's uh, pretty good. So there is one thing I have noticed is that we are then in India and unlike a lot of places I have been in uh, Southeast Asia or some other places around the world, no one is really paying attention to you. You can walk around and there is, there is no staring, there is no questioning, there is no look. People go on with their lives and they are not really paying attention to you even though I'm one of the few Westerners walking around 
it's not that I want to be noticed or anything, but I witnessed the uh, reaction is quite uh, normal, I would say. No one is trying to sell me shit in the street. No one's trying to stop and propose me some uh, taxi rides or whatever. No harassment, absolutely no harassment at all. There might be a few people staring in the metro during rush hour, but it is very light. It's nothing bad at all. So it's one of the big surprises about being here. I thought it would be, uh, I would drag much more attention. So far, so good. So I have discovered this car here. It's the Tar. Apparently it's made here. I really like it. I really like it. Uh, one day I will go to the, the shop and ask a few questions. It's one third of the price of a European car with this similar style. And yeah, I would like very much to at least be able to rent it for a weekend to go hiking outside of the city because apparently the best places are about five, six hours driving from here. So that would be cool. I need to search for an agency renting those models. It's really nice, really, really nice. So far, I'm just walking.